morning, RHS. I'm Macy Kryaski. And I'm Nyana Nellum Ferguson. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, 2020, and this is YTV News. Two more weeks until Christmas break. Make sure to stay focused, attend those Zoom classes, and get your work done. Remote learning can be challenging, but keep pushing yourself and stay focused. We'll be remote learning until December 18th, but at the board meeting tonight, they will be discussing the learning plan for January. Tune in through the link at wyandot.org. If you need help getting a hold of your teacher during remote learning, search wyandot.org, click on district, and then staff directory. From there, you can search their name and their contact information should be there. Be sure to communicate openly to have the best chance of success in your remote learning. During these times, we tend to forget to disinfect the places that we're in most, like our cars. Let's take a look at a proper disinfection. During this pandemic, the car has become a very high contact area for infections. Let's see how you can clean high contact areas in your car to keep people safe. So there you have it. Make sure you wipe down high contact areas regularly to keep you and your loved ones safe during this pandemic. Roosevelt is participating in the National Poetry Out Loud program. This year's competitions will be conducted virtually. Students who are interested in participating should join RHS's Poetry Out Loud Google Classroom with the code CZY42XY. Quiz Bowl will also start virtually this year. Team building is currently underway and matches will be taking place after Thanksgiving. For more information, you can join their online by texting at RHSQBOWL281010 or using the app. You can also join their Google Classroom with the code 525D5GZ. Reese Blackledge went around asking students where they would want to quarantine at. Hey RHS, if you could quarantine anywhere, where would it be? If I could quarantine anywhere, it'd probably be Hawaii just because I've always wanted to go there. The place I would want to quarantine is at is probably Florida or like somewhere in the Bahamas. And the reason why, because I would like to relax in some nice warm weather and be able to enjoy the beach by myself and just vibe. If I could quarantine anywhere in the world, I'd pick Hawaii because I've never been there. If I had the opportunity to quarantine anywhere that I wanted, I would probably choose somewhere in the South, the Bahamas or Jamaica or something, just because it's nice weather all the time. If I could quarantine anywhere in the world, it'd be Greece because it's beautiful there and I always wanted to go there. If I could be quarantined anywhere, it would be the ice rink because I love playing hockey even though that it's really cold. If I could quarantine anywhere in the world, I would quarantine at a Taco Bell so I can eat all the food, like unlimited food. It'd be so good. I will go to Bora Bora and stay in a cabana. I would quarantine at a mall so I would never get bored and have everything that I could ever want or need. Now back to the anchors. For those looking for extra assistance this year, Homework then will continue virtually as we transition back to remote learning. Virtual homework then is available five days a week via Zoom. Homework in Google Classroom in code 66IRNXC. 
If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. McCabe. The Wine Not Teas pop-up shop opened yesterday and will run until December 20th. It runs from 4 to 7, Wednesday through Friday and Saturday and Sunday, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure you stop in and get all your Wine Dot Spirit gear. Seniors, remember that our career cons counselor is available with videos and a website to help guide you toward your goals. Reach out to Chris Farrell at workforce.risa.net for guidance and help. In other news, I think it's time we get to know a Wine Dot student. You may not get to see everyone in the halls each day, but RHS is filled with amazing people and junior Josh Mills is just one of them. My name is Joshua Mills, I'm a junior. I have a mom, dad, and a brother. My brother also goes to the high school, his name is Jake. My first memory of the high school is making a hockey team and them um, make me feel comfortable as a freshman going to the school, you know, it was a big help. What I'm most proud of is making a hockey team as a freshman and then starting, which was a big accomplishment for me. It made me feel really good on the inside. So that's what I'm most proud of. Uh, what people, I wish new people knew more about me uh, is that I'm really easy to talk to and I wish more people took advantage of that. I'm open to anything and I'm a person you can count on. So, uh, stuff that makes me happy. I love hockey. I love my girlfriend, my family, my friends. They all make me really happy. I love being with them. I love spending time with them. You know, they're just they're my life. So the advice I have is that life's too short and that don't take things for granted because you know, snap of fingers, everything can be gone. Now remember, you never know someone's story unless you ask. Teen Task Force has a mission to promote positive mental health for the RHS student body. Meetings will be held every Wednesday at 1 p.m. There will also be a RHS anxiety support group. Those meetings will be every Wednesday at 2 p.m. For those interested in joining these meetings or for more information, please email Ms. Sutka. Additionally, as we transition back to remote learning, Mrs. Sutka wants students to remember that support is still available for you. She has a Google Classroom that allows students an easy way to reach out. The class code is NPCBWM6. Your book's prices will go up at the end of December. Order yours now to get the lowest price possible. This year and its yearbook will be one to remember, so be sure to have your copy reserved now. Order at yearbook-order-center.com and use the code 10884 for RHS. The price increases throughout the year, so get them as soon as possible. Happy birthday today, too. Want to be sure you stay updated on all things RHS? Check in daily at rhsbears.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Just search RHS Media on YouTube. CBIS virtual for December is kindness. Remember to be kind to each other today and always. Have a great day, RHS. We'll all need to make sure we are still following social distancing guidelines. Wear a mask when you are out. Let's do our part to get this virus under control so that we can see each other face to face again soon. And remember to wash those hands and wear your mask.